Hi everyone, it's SimQubies here and welcome to a new Sims 4 speed build. So today we are building another community lot in Tartosa and this is a community garden. We got this lot type with the eco lifestyle pack and this is my favorite lot type in the Sims. I love community gardens and gardening is my favorite skill in the Sims. I would like to have one community garden in every world. It's so much fun. Your Sims can plant flowers and vegetables. And what I like most about community gardens is that townies will also take care of the garden. For example, they can plant fruits and vegetables. They can harvest plants and they can also water plants. It's very realistic. And I love plants. I added a lot of sunflowers, which is my favorite flower. So this is a 40 by 30 lot in Tortosa, the world that came with the My Wedding Stories pack. And a community garden requires 4 planters, but I think I placed 61 planters here. <laughs> So after a long day of gardening, your sims need to relax. So I added a campfire where they can hang out and roast marshmallows. There is a picnic table and later I added a picnic basket so your sims can enjoy a meal together. There is also a food cart so your sims can buy coffee or tea for example. So in my last video, I said I wanted to build a house in Monte Komorebi, a community garden and a cottage. And I actually started to build a cottage, but then I got some comments from you that you would like to see the community garden and the house in Mount Komorebi. So I got so excited and I started to build the community garden instead of the cottage. And I will build the house in Mount Komorebi very soon. So thank you so much for telling me that. It's even more fun to build when I know what you would like to see. And it makes me so happy to read your comments. So I'm very excited to share this community garden today. And I hope you will like it. So these plants are summer plants. I think some of the plants are in season all the time. I decided to only use summer plants because if a plant is not in season, it will disappear and your sims can't interact with it. So that's why I decided to build a summer themed community garden. But if you would like to visit this lot in spring, for example, you can replace some of the summer plants with spring plants. And there is also an area with empty planter boxes. I think it would be fun to build a fall themed community garden too, with a lot of pumpkins. I've built a pumpkin patch before, it was so much fun. I love to decorate with pumpkins. 
I look forward to build fall themed builds, but right now I think I will continue to build summer themed builds, because I can't wait for summer. So The Sims recently announced that two new kits will be available very soon. It's one build kit called Little Campers Kit and one cast kit called Moonlight Chic Kit. And I'm so excited, especially about the build kit, because I'm building all the time in The Sims. The Little Campers Kit looks so cute. I can't wait, I'm so excited for new Sims content. And The Sims will release a game pack later, and we got a new clue about werewolves, so maybe it is a supernatural pack? I don't know. <laughs> I think I've only built one supernatural house before, but if it's a werewolves pack, I'm actually excited to build more supernatural themed houses. I would like to build a house for a witch. I think that would be really fun. So it's just a few minutes left of the video and I just wanted to say thank you so so much for watching, it makes me so happy. If you would like to download this community garden, it's available on the Sims 4 gallery, my ID is simcubis. I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video and I hope I will see you in my next video, bye!